Hey, hi friends, welcome to today's video. So today I'm starting a new series on building an app from scratch to the app store. Yeah, you heard it right. So I will be starting an app which is called Bhagavad Gita. And I have used this API because this is open source and then you can play with uh, all the chapters. So it will be like a multi-screen app. So many requests I used to get that. Hinilis, why don't you build an app with multiple screens showing your proper MVV architectures and making it to a production level of code. So that's what I'm going to start in this series. And uh, this is going to be very exciting because uh, I'm going to try to use it as much as a production level code instead of just showing you how to make an API call and how to you know, build a normal screens. And at the end of the code uh, or at the end of the app, we'll also publish it to the app store and all of you can even download it. We'll also use all sort of uh, tools like uh, crash analytics, analytics, A-B test so that you can see a complete version of a foolproof app so in the first video today i'm going to show you that how can you create a swift package manager because we are so in the first series we'll show you that how you can create a swift package manager as we are going to make this code more modular so we'll be using this swift package manager so that we can build the common components which can be reused even with some other apps let's say that i build a network layer and that network layer is reusable and you can use that as a plugin package with some other app as well okay so in this video we are just see that how can we create a simple search package manager and then how can we host it in, into the github and then how we can update it and then we can use it in our real-time app we'll also show that how can we write the test cases for the search package manager so that we can be sure that the functionality that we are developing is working fine okay so let's create the app first and then the search package manager And this app we are going to build with Swift UI. Uh, many of you requested to use Storyboard also. So for some of the modules, I will use a Storyboard as well. And most of the module I'll develop in Swift UI. I've included a core data because this app is also going to use core data for some of the features so that you can see a flavor of core data and network call together. And we are also going to write the test cases for all the things that we are developing. So I've included the test cases. So it will create a project for you. Okay. Now let's go to the next step and uh, let's see that how we can create a Swift package. So let's create the Swift package so file and then you have to click on new, then package and then here I'm calling it as uh, BZ utility okay so all the utility thing that I'm going to use like array string date formatter everything I'm going to place inside this utility so we'll keep updating throughout the project development okay and this is not inside the main repository it is outside that okay so if you see this folder this is inside this uh, uh, Gita final and then inside that we have this Bhagavad Gita and we'll add this BZ utility okay so if you see this package which got created uh, this has multiple things um, like the product name uh, dependencies target all these things so dependencies you can use that if you want to add some other dependency let's say that the package which you are creating is dependent on some other package or is it dependent on some custom framework those dependency we can use uh, or we can add here and uh, you can also have name products and uh, by default we, when you create the package it is available for if you see mac tv watch os all so we have one keyword here which is called platforms that you can use to restrict it to a particular uh, platform let's say that i am restricting it to ios and i want it to support from 15 so i'll just make give it this 15 so that this package is only available from ios 15 onward that all depends on you where you want to add it okay now if you see inside it we have a source which contain nothing but a default file and you can see that this all are publics because we will be accessing it through outside the package right and uh, let me add few functionality here okay so i have already created few class uh, uh, for array 
so let me just drag and drop it here so what this array basically uh, does that uh, when you try to access an array uh, what happens uh, that if the index count is greater than the array uh, total count so that the, your array will crash right because there is no value at that point of time so it is like accessing it through the safe index so that if what uh, basically here is, it is happening that if the index is greater than zero or it is less than the end index then only we are trying to access that means that if you pass some negative value or if you pass some value which is greater than the array count in that case we will not access the array we will return the nil so it will avoid any runtime classes which we get when accessing the array okay now we have written this function but we also want to test it like right? we want to test this uh, swift package manager that we are developing so that once we use it we are sure that it's working so we are also going to add the test cases for it so let me add the, a new file here and let's call it as array extension tests okay now this file got created here and what we can do we can even import uh, testable import what are we, we are going to import we are going to import our utility okay and uh, now we have to write the test cases right so let me delete all this thing and uh, let me write the test cases so basically i write two test cases i think those are enough to cover my scenario one where i have an array and i pass some proper index and it should return me some value and the other test cases will be that i have an array but uh, i pass the index where there is no value and that in that case it should return me nil as per the uh, syntax right so let's come here and uh, give it some proper name test uh, proper value and here let define an array let's say let numbers equals to 1 2 3 4 5 okay and now how you access generally we access the uh, let's say that if I have to access uh, element we access it using numbers and directly we can give zero or something and that will give you results so now instead of accessing directly we'll access this using the safe index that what we have written okay and here i'm passing zero and it should return me what uh one right so xct assert and i will be comparing num1 equals equals to one because that's what at the zero index right and uh, let me craw, copy and paste it and uh, let me pass and uh, now uh, what we are going to do here I'm going to pass index as uh, 10 or we can call it as taste uh, out of index value okay and th in this case the num1 should give me nil right because we don't have any value so now let's run this test cases so you can see that the test got succeeded that means the code that I'm writing is working perfectly okay and uh, now the next thing is that how we have to use it so first thing is that if you see uh, the swift ways you no know, like uh, use it through by adding the package dependency into your project okay so for that we have to make sure that this code is in uh, some repository maybe some github bit backup bit bucket gitlab anywhere okay so let me push this code right so what we can do we can go to source control and we can commit it okay and what we have to do we have to just write as let's say uh, initial commits so give you can give uh, any of the commit messages whatever you want okay so commit three files to push this repository but before push uh, we have to make sure that we have created a repository right so what we have to do we have to right click here and this you can do with multiple ways i'm using uh, this xcode source control you can use terminal you can use source tree that all depends on you okay and then click on this new and see it already created this repository with busy utility and there's a visibility whether you want to add it to public or private now I'm getting because I have already added this uh, account so it's reading my account from the github uh, if you have not added 
uh, you can just click on add an account it will ask for your email id and then you can have to give the token um, personal access token that you can create it from the github and then the xcode will be linked with your github right uh, so let me create it and i'll just call it as busy utility gita app okay and then you can create it and now what it will do it will create a repository in your um, github okay and then you have to make sure that you have also created the tag okay so this is the tag option here and by if you see here right now it's not showing you any tag so what you can do you can click on tag and you can give any tag like if you uh, remember when you use any swift package manager you always get some version right so that is nothing but your tag number so this tags help you let's say that if you want to push a new version you can always just increase the tag number now i'll click on create and now my tag is also created so now what i have to do i have to click on source control and then push okay now you can see the branch games and make sure that you are also pushing your tags and then it will get pushed into my github okay and then you can if you, i want to see it so let me bring my github here and you can see that our changes are there and if i go to here we also have this array extensions that we are going to use right so all looks pretty good uh, i'll add this uh, descriptions later uh, the readme section so let's uh, jump into our main app and let's see how we can utilize it okay so let me open my first uh, app that i created for the demo and then what we are going to do uh, we are going to click on this app and then click on your project package dependency click on plus and then you just paste the github link here okay and now you can see that the busy utility is coming and then uh, it is also showing you that which version you want right now we have just one tag so up to next major version let's say that if i push more version into it okay and then click on add package and then this will fetch the dependency from the github and then it will add it into your project okay so now if you see the vg utility it came here now how can we use it so uh, right now i just show you that we can use it but in the later uh, app when we now start developing the app we'll see the more use cases of this utility so right now for just demo purpose we can import our bg utility here so you can see that i'm able to import it and uh, for the demo purpose what i can do i can have a dot on appear and here i can define the same thing let's say that if i have some array and uh, let's say one two three then i should be able to access this array with the subscript function which is inside this utility okay so array and then what you have to do you have to write safe index and then zero okay so we are able to access this property which is there inside my utility uh, package okay so that's all about uh, today's video that uh, we learned how to create a swift package the series is going to be very interesting um, so if you have not subscribed the channel then please do subscribe it and if you have any questions then please do leave your feedback in the comment section thanks for watching thank you